Hey guys, thanks for watching another video. Today we are doing the timing on a 1.25 Ford Fiesta. So we're gonna go ahead and lock up the cams and the crankshaft. This can be an issue for some people who don't know how to do this correctly, so we'll just cover it quickly now. So with the rocker cover removed, you can see the two top cams. One is for the inlet and one is for the exhaust. So if you lift up these HT leads, you can see the cutouts on the back for the timing tools. Here's the timing kit, but for this, we'll only need two of them this flat edge and this pin. The first thing that we need to do is locate the blanking plug on the side of the block which we can take out and then insert our timing tool. This can be a little bit hard to find but there it is there, just a little 10mm. It's worth noting that before you insert any timing tools you should have already loosened off the crankshaft pulley bolt. This bolt is very tight and if you loosen it with the timing tools in place you can cause damage. So remember, before the timing tools are inserted, you can use your impact gun to remove that pulley bolt and then put it back in by hand just tight enough so that you can rotate the engine later on. So with that blanking plug removed, we can take our pin out of the timing kit and insert that into the hole. This timing pin is threaded, so you want to work that in by hand all the way down so that it's fully inserted, but it only needs to be hand tight, so don't overdo it. When you're happy that's fully inserted, you can put your ratchet onto the crank and rotate the engine slowly until you come to a natural stop. When you do come to a stop, it means that the internals of the engine are now pressed up against the timing tool. Now that our crankshaft is in the correct position, we first need to double check that our cams are in line with each other before we try to insert our flat edge. When you're happy, take the flat edge out of the timing kit and insert it into those slots on the back of the cams. This will only fit in one way, so make sure that you're using it the correct way. As long as the timing was right to begin with, these should slot in really easily, so just make sure that it's fully inserted and it's against the flat edge. Earlier I mentioned that the crank pulley bolt is really tight, and this is because it's a floating crank pulley. You'll notice here there's no woodruff key, so that this crankshaft pulley can go on in any position. So that's why it's really tight, and that's why you need to be really careful doing this job. But with that pulley out of the way, now you can remove the plastics and continue to remove the timing belt. This timing cover can be really fiddly to come off, and it's got a little rubber section on the side of it, which also has a 10mm which needs to be removed before you can take it off. And that's hidden here, right next to this cam position sensor. Now this should be free. And now with this finally out of the way, we can see what we're doing. Much easier. So even after you've taken off the timing belt tensioner, the only thing that's in your way now is this mount and it's held on with a few hidden bolts and you need to remove the alternator because there's another hidden bolt just in there on that side of the block. With those hidden bolts removed, we can now take this mount completely off and remove the timing belt. Now that everything's removed, the area is nice and open, ready for you to replace the water pump. Remember, the water pumps are recommended to be replaced every time you do the timing belt because it's hidden underneath everything and if there's an issue you'll be doing that job twice if you haven't done it. Thanks for watching the video guys. If this has helped please give us a like and leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you want me to go into more depth showing how to do these belts or any other belts that you might want to see. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more click here to see more and uh, visit the channel guys and have a look through the videos. Cheers.